Now, let's take an example of a neighboring country, Nepal. Nepal was a country under a king's rule, that is monarchy. And till 1990, they had a constitution or rather a new constitution which was adopted in 1990 by them clearly stated that monarch along with his council of ministers shall head the country. And monarch was all in all, he had all the powers, he was authoritative in nature, that is to say the constitution clearly defined that monarch was a tyrant or rather the representative of God on earth. As time passed by, people struggled hard and they wanted to bring about democracy in Nepal. And the struggle reaped fruits when in 2006, democracy was given in the country and that is Nepal became democratic country. When they turned into a democratic nation, the first difficulty that they faced was that now the earlier constitution of 1990 became invalid because the earlier constitution clearly stated that the king was all powerful and now they had to change that constitution and write down the ideals of democracy in the constitution. As I stated earlier also, when I was telling you that why do we need a constitution, I clearly said that the constitution clearly defines the ideals of the government. So the ideals of the government had changed from 2006 in Nepal. So the government brought about that change needed to be documented in the new constitution. And thus, the people of Nepal started writing a new constitution for their countrymen. Now, that was about Nepal. But let's talk about something which is prevalent in the country like India too much. And that is inter-community domination and intra-community domination. Inter-community domination is that domination when actually the people of another community, they have a hold on another community and they become more powerful on them, they overpower them. But the intra-community domination is that domination wherein the people of their own community start dominating another group of their own community. That is certain people in the community itself become powerful enough to dominate their own community men. So that is inter-community domination and intra-community domination. Now let's move on to the Indian constitution. When I talk of the Indian constitution, you all are aware that the Britishers ruled India for nearly 200 years. They suppressed us, oppressed us and were very authoritative in their rule or nature. Which means that the people of India who had struggled so hard had a clear vision and the vision was that they wanted a welfare government for their country. They wanted a government which would be their own government. Therefore, they started writing a constitution for the independent India based on this ideal that is a welfare government, government of the people, government who would look after their needs and aspirations. And it were 300 people in the constituent assembly who took three long years to write the Indian constitution.